very good morning dear student uh, so today in python panda programming uh, what i'll going to show you uh, the implementation of swapping swapping and uh, the mathematical uh, areas implementations math some of the uh, very common uh, some very common programming uh, rules and implementation of that particular rule okay so this is the thing what you can uh, see as in today's discussion uh, so in this uh, in the previous discussion i have discussed about how you can implement uh, the addition subtractions uh, multiplication division all these thing you have seen it and you have also seen it that uh, how you can uh, work with that area isn't it so uh, let us see uh, what we have in our uh, today's programming and uh, what are the thing there in the python programming so python programming uh, in this python programming what we say uh, these are the programming uh, that i am doing here is a basic programming section uh, then we will going to start uh, the loop okay a conditional programming isn't it so that i will going to discuss with the day when i'll uh, show you the program on the conditional programming so let us uh, see what the program uh, we have for today's session now uh, see here uh, in this uh, particular program what we have at uh, first and uh, foremost that i have taken one variable what is the variable variable is x isn't it so in this particular variable uh, what i have done i have given input enter the value of x now previously you have seen there in the previous uh, programs and previous videos that there i have used int okay so here i haven't used it so default value it will going to take now what will be default value default value is integer pattern of values okay default the values that it will going to take that is an integer pattern of value that means what i am doing actually here uh, i am uh, calling an input function okay i am calling an input function as i am calling an input function in this particular input function uh, what we have and what we can find uh, that i am enter i am giving one instruction that enter the value of x clear yeah. next i have taken another value y now here i have written input enter the value of y okay so uh, these are the two sections or the two part what we can see uh, that we have initialized two variable here understand the thing very nicely we have taken two variables here first variable the first variable is what the first variable is an x variable now this is the variable uh, which i have highlighted here this particular variable is uh, not any reserve word or not any keywords that means uh, from here one conclusion we can come uh, and we can say it that if you are inserting any uh, pattern of variables where we need to store the data those the uh, pattern of instructions those the pattern of uh, variables that we are taking isn't it uh, that uh, should not be what that should not be the keywords that should not be the reserve words okay so reserve words or key words or key pattern of uh, things that we have that we will not going to take okay if you take them then uh, it will not going to work in that uh, particular way it will going to give you the wrong output so this is one uh, what you can find this is what what you can see that when you are having this particular pattern of data values when you are using those particular data uh, uh, data values in this particular pattern of data values what you are going to insert or where you need to store it that should be a particular certain pattern way okay so x i have taken after taking the x what we have find it uh, that input i haven't given here see in the previous program previous video you have seen it there what i have given there i have given one in okay and i have said you also there that we can declare in float string whatever the uh, type or data type it is there that also we can declare now when i haven't given anything here when i haven't declared anything here that means this particular declaration what is there this particular declaration uh, what we will going to have uh, we find it that in this particular declaration what it will going to take it will going to take the default values what it is there okay uh, so default value uh, what we can find that is there based on this particular default value uh, the thing will going to work 
okay the thing will going to insert that default value is what integer pattern of value it will going to take as a default now if you are changing it that will going to uh, based on that particular scenario that uh, where you are working and how you are applying it okay so this is the thing what you find this is the part that you find uh, that you have an input there input what enter value of x okay enter uh, value of x that means here you want to enter the value of x and uh, entering the value of x what you want to do uh, you want to work on this particular data that means what you are giving you are giving the instruction to the user okay you are giving an instruction to the user those who are seeing it they will understand it that uh, what the value will be there and how you can uh, work with this particular value next what y equals to uh, input enter the value of y so enter the value of y means here that you are going to enter the value of y uh, this is the value what you find that you are going to enter here okay so as you are entering the values as you are finding it those the values are there and those the values you are entering so each of this particular value what you find uh, that this will going to implement in this particular way or in this particular manner okay next what i have given here y equals to uh, input uh, enter uh, the value of y okay enter the value of y that means what is the value of y that you will going to enter from here okay you will going to enter the value from here so uh, this is the part this is the thing that you can find it uh, that we will going to enter in this particular area okay you will going to enter the value uh, here and you will to make this particular area uh, to be worked on this uh, arena that you can find it uh, that will be very much implementable okay next what uh, it is written print uh, before swapping that means before swapping before you are changing what is a value print x x equals to what this x uh, print y y equals to y that means what you are calling here x and y that means when you are, uh, you are calling x and y what is the value that has been uh, given to it during the run time what the value you have given to it that value has been called that value has been stored in x so as you are calling here x and y as you are calling here x that means the value that is stored in x that will going to replicate here or that will going to print it here okay so this is what you can find it uh, that you can do this particular work okay next what you can find it that uh, print y that means uh, from here what you can find it uh, that uh, those the value what is stored in y that you can store here afterwards what you see that uh, t equals to x that means i am taking one uh, value that value is known as t that is a temporary variable so in this particular t when i am not defining it that means what is the data type of this particular value the data type will be the data type what is the other values data type it will going to store to it okay so uh, you find it uh, that here what you are having you are having a, a structure what t equals to f that means you are uh, going to store the value of t in x okay then what you find x equals to y then uh, the value of y is now stored in x now y equals to t y equals to t means uh, now what the value has been stored in y uh, that will be um, that to be the value of t that means what is the value has been stored the value of x is been stored so uh, print x equals to y uh, x and y equals to y so this is how you can find it uh, this is the structure you can do and you can um, bring it you can make it okay so this is how you can find it that how you will going to uh, make those uh, data uh, structure how you can uh, frame this particular thing and you can work on it that means here uh, the program that you are using program you can find the program is a very simple and basic program is okay in this particular program what is there there are two variables has been taken 
okay they are at the two variables you have taken now when you have taken the two variables that what will be the data type default data type what we find that is an integer data type isn't it default data type that you will going to give here uh, that is an integer data type as you find the default data type is the integer data type if you didn't write anything here that means it will going to take the integer value only okay so um, there what we can find input entered the value of x now enter the value of x means what that in this particular area in this particular part what uh, you are having what you can find it here uh, that what is the instruction you are giving to the user because user don't know that what the value you are uh, going to have there what the thing the user going to enter here that is not known by the user so since this is not known by the user from this particular program what you can see from here you can see from here that you are uh, giving some instruction to whom instruction to the user what is the instruction that entered the value of x okay so enter the value of x when the value of x to be entered uh, this particular thing uh, the user will understand yes i have to enter some value there now enter the value of y now user will understand yes now i have to enter some value of y there okay so as uh, we find it this thing is there now what we do we need to take out the output so before swapping before we change the value what will be it okay so uh, y equals to uh, y and x equals to x what you are doing using the print function so we are calling here the print function and calling the print function we are printing it so this is the way uh, we can print our output of any of the work that we are doing okay then what i am doing i am interchanging you see i have taken one variable um, that is x uh, where i am storing the value of x that is a t T uh, I have taken you can take anything you can take C D E anything but T Y I have taken because T uh, denotes temporary uh, we can understand it very nicely or quickly so T means temporary variable that are the third variable so third variable I have given it and uh, then I have written uh, X equals to uh, what Y that means that value has been stored in uh, X and Y equals to the value what I have stored in T that will be stored here now I am printing it print X and print Y now here one thing you see it that I have written some lines with a hashtag now why this is for this is it uh, compulsory to write no it is not compulsory to write you can write it why because when you do a big program when you make a big program at that particular pattern of time what you will going to find it that uh, the uh, what the work you are doing you may forget in a very big program isn't it so when you forget that you uh, that time you have to recall it it will be going to take a time therefore what you find if you give an hash and if you write uh, that particular section that what you are doing then uh, as soon as you are seeing the program or any other person is seeing the program uh, the person can understand that what the program actually is now let us see what is the output of this particular program is now see uh, what uh, we have here how we will run it suppose the first value i am giving here uh, 10 okay second value suppose i am giving a 20 now uh, see here uh, when uh, before swapping what was the value so value of x is what 10 the value of y is 20 after swapping what is the value now x became 20 and y became 10 now inside that what the work has been done the user will not see uh, the person who is using the program and writing the program that particular person will not see that so this is how you can see this is how you can find it uh, that you can have this particular program you can have this particular thing uh, that where you are having a values and you are swapping the value swapping means interchanging the place of the values that is known as swapping okay so uh, many way you can find it that you can swap uh, the different types of uh, uh, those the values what are there you can uh, if uh, there are three four values then you have to take more the variable there <coughs> and taking the more variable uh, than what it is your requirement your requirement is that you can swap it and you can make the thing to be workable okay so this is how you can find it how you uh, work with this particular swapping program and how you make this particular swapping program uh, to be implemented and to be worked with okay
so uh, this is the thing what you find and uh, that in this way as you are taking the value from the user uh, you can swap it and you can do it clear now let us see uh, what is the next uh, program is there and uh, what is that particular program is Now here you see uh, that when you are doing a program in this uh, particular program you can find here. So uh, what you can find here in this particular program you see that we are calculating uh, the area and the perimeter of a rectangle. That means uh, previously I have shown you some summation work of additions and all. Now uh, this is the thing these are the very uh, common and general thing that means if you know the formula you can implement it. Okay, if you know the formula, obviously you can implement it and you can work with it. So, uh, Python program to calculate the area and perimeter of a rectangle. So, what you find is the length. First, I have given the length. Length equals to what? Int. Now, see here I have given that previous one. Int, input, please enter the length. Okay. Second, I have given width. That means you are uh, thinking that only I have to take x, only I have to take y, only I have to take a, only I have to take b. No. In this way also you can take that means uh, why I have done it uh, because uh, so that you can understand that only the reserve word what is there those the reserve word instead of the reserve word we can take any pattern of word also. But our declaration should be proper like length what I have given in so it understand it that it will going to uh, take an integer value this I have given what int so it will going to take an integer value. Okay, the thing has been converted in this way where you can find it, uh, the particular work is been declared and that is been taking this pattern of values what uh, we are working with, isn't it? Next what we can find area equals to length into width, that is the formula of area L into W, isn't it? And perimeter formula is what 2 into length plus breadth instead of width you can write breadth so i am writing here width uh, it will be acceptable much more uh, so uh, there you can find uh, length plus width isn't it two into that means you see here uh, i have used here board mass forms so one bracket is there within a bracket i have done it if i don't give the bracket then the value of two will going to multiply it with uh, the length then after that it will do this particular work so here in the uh, machine or in your copy always you should remember uh, that there the thing is followed is a Bodmas theorem. Okay. So using the Bodmas theorem that means what it will be do first the addition will be done inside the bracket and after the addition will be done inside the bracket then the value will be multiplied. Okay. Now what you require you require to print it. Okay. Print what area of a rectangle their area has been given and uh, what perimeter of a rectangle so perimeter has been given okay so this is how you can see that how uh, you can uh, implement it so this is the uh, length and area perimeter of a rectangle uh, you can do the square you can uh, do uh, the triangle different type of triangles are there isn't it all those triangle formulas all these things you can implement it here so uh, let's see what will going to be the output of it. Now uh, what will be how it will going to uh, when you run the program you see it that it has asked you uh, to enter the value. Suppose I have entered the value 45. Okay. Next value suppose 88. Okay. See here the area of a rectangle uh, the perimeter of a rectangle. Okay, so this is how uh, the thing will going to work and you can find whatever uh, the formula you are implementing here, whatever the formula you are giving, based on that particular formula, the thing will going to work on that way, isn't it? So uh, first program that has been shown to you, that is what? Uh, that is the program of swapping and second program is what? Second program is about uh, your uh, particular form that you are uh, working with. Okay, what is the form is there? Form is that uh, that you are taking the uh, values and after taking the value, uh, then you are converting or you are transferring that value in a form or in a format where uh, it will going to show you the rectangle or of uh, rectangular area and rectangular perimeter. That means perimeter of a rectangle and area of a rectangle. So this is how you can implement it and you can use it and you can 
work with this particular uh, information or instructions that you are giving so based on this you can do uh, the other different type of implementations of the work okay so this is uh, the thing that you can find this is the part uh, that you can find that how you are working with this particular uh, different type of input and using and working with the input you are uh, doing the work with a python programming okay thank you students today i am ending my today's session here thank you all